Hello there, morons. It's Victor for Give Me a Break Man, King of the Morons, uh, Japanese for Morons. This is a J News. Uh, as you may have probably heard by now, there was a huge earthquake. I think it was 6.9 on the Richter scale at 5.59 a.m. this morning. I am in Nagoya, which is in the middle of Japan. Uh, did not hear it uh, or feel it <laughs> at all here. Uh, however, um, people in Tokyo apparently did feel it, but everyone's safe. Uh, no deaths have been reported, no injuries yet. Uh, that's according to the U.S. military. Uh, there, I'll link you to some uh, English stories as well at the bottom. But this is mostly uh, a Japanese language learning uh, opportunity. So we take every, every uh, news story as an opportunity. But anyway, let's get to it. Uh, in short, everyone's fine right now. One of the reactors, let me tell you what I know right now. One of the reactors has, has uh, one of the sensitive reactors, meaning it's had problems in the past, has stopped working. But um, the TEPCO officials, you know, it's up to you as to whether you can believe them or not, say that it's no cause to worry because uh, the water there, the facility is built in such a way that it can keep the radioactive rods uh, cool for up to seven days, so we'll see. Anyway, uh, on TV this morning, uh, we usually uh, watch children's shows, Okasan to Ishoni with my son. But today, everything was uh, just news. Every, every channel was exactly the same, telling you what was happening in Fukushima. Uh, quite a panicky voice, but there's actually, it doesn't seem to be much of a problem. There was a, I think, a 90 a centimeter uh, tsunami, which is about a meter, almost a meter, almost a yard, I guess, for you guys in, in the States. Uh, in height, but again, not a big problem. The the place it happened is in Fukushima, Fukushima and I, Iwate, that area there on the uh, far east coast of Japan. And some of the words that you heard, well, on the screen, the big words on the screen this on the screen this morning on television were tsunami and nigete. nigete. <coughs> Excuse me, I just got to the hospital, getting over uh, some pneumonia here. Uh, so let's go through some of the vocabulary, okay? Fukushima, of course, is a place name. Tsunami is tidal wave, but of course, oh, tsunami has been used in American English for many, many years now. Nigeru is the verb to run away. And the um, the variations on the screen were nigeru or nigete, nigete, which is the uh, te form, which just means do it, run away. Or nigero, which is much rougher, it means run away, nigero. That kind of ending, this one. And the person that gave a speech on, you may have heard on TV, and if you're watching Japanese TV, a good way to pick up uh, vocabulary is just to watch TV. I watch a lot, uh, especially if you're studying Japanese. I cannot underemphasize the importance of listening. Tambocho is the chief cabinet secretary. I don't even know what that means in English. I mean, I don't know what he, what he does, but he's the guy in charge now in talking. They talked about the Shindo, the Japanese earthquake. I think it was 6.9 in American measurements. Uh, I don't remember what it was in English. You can look it up. I'm, I'm sure that that number is probably changing. Anyway, uh, the big the big expression that the Kambocho said today was, and I want to introduce it to you. It was Tadachi ni anzen na basho ni hinan hinan oshite kudasai. Oh, did I get every, did, I, did I get everything? Oh, I think I missed something. Shindo. Oh yeah, uh, I missed the. Let, let's back up a little bit. Hase. I thought I did this somewhere. Hase suru. Didn't I put this somewhere? I don't see this. Blah, 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 blah. No, I thought I had that down. Hase suru is basically to happen to occur. Hase suru. And when I hear it, uh, when I heard that on the where is it? On the news program, it sounded to me like hasso suru, to be honest. So listening is tough, even for someone like me. If you look at here, this is the tangorin.com, which I like using. Because even if you don't, yeah, it looks like uh, well, has to say to to occur, to occur. The origin of yeah, to happen, basically. Okay, where is it? Let's go right here. To happen, hase uh, So the earthquake hit or hase shita, hase shimashita. It happened. Shindo. We talked about that. The uh, Japanese earthquake scale. Let's go back to the the Kambocho's quote, which you, I will let you listen to in a second. Tadachi ni anzenabashu ni hina no shite kudasai. Of course, kudasai going backwards, kudasai means please. Tadachi ni means immediately. So immediately, safe anzenna. Anzen. And this is all notes in your in your description, not your prescription. That's what I had. <laughs> basho ni. Basho is a place. Ni indicates where you're going somewhere when you're moving to an, in, in a direction. Uh, you can equate it to two. Two. 
to a safe place immediately. Hinan, evacuate. Hinan o shite kudasai. Hinan o suru is to, to evacuate the verb. Uh, I guess in this case it would be hinan o suru. Just a minute there. This is, I'm pretty sure you can say hinan suru, but hinan, there he's saying hinan o suru. Hinan o shite kudasai. Tadachi ni anze na bashu ni hinan o shite kudasai. Please evacuate to a safe place immediately. And that's basically it. That's your lesson, a little mini lesson for you. Everyone's fine. It's not a big, um, luckily, it doesn't seem to be nearly uh, the, the amount, the, the size of the earthquake that we had back in uh, 2011. Now, just so you can hear, where the hell is it? Where is the, uh, just a minute, I actually have, was it there? Oh, here, we, no, that's not it. I got it ready for you. Here we go. No, that's not it. That's uh, all these windows open. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is the actual quote by the Kambocho of Fukushima. Ken, uh, this is from Fukushima Prefecture. I'm not sure where this is being given. I'm assuming this is from Tokyo because Abe is, I, I think, in Peru right now, meeting with uh, o Obama, reassuring everything, everyone that all the treaties that uh, he has made will stay in place once Trump takes over. Let's do one more time, just for listening, just for fun. Okay, that's it. That's it. That's your lesson for today. I'll put a um, link to that video as well if you want to uh, listen to that video and improve your listening. That's the best way to do it. Thanks for watching. That's all I got for you uh, for now. And I'll be back soon with another video. See ya.